Gloucestershire missed a chance to nail down a place in the last eight of the NatWest T20 Blast as they slipped to a three-wicket defeat in a low-scoring game with Essex in Bristol. Put in, Gloucestershire looked to Michael Klinger, who hit the first six of the match at the start of the second over, the first having gone for only two runs. But Klinger fell in the same Jamie Porter over, perfectly picking out Paul Walter, the skipper gone for nine. Phil Mustard followed in the next over, comprehensively bowled by Mohamed Amir for six, Gloucestershire slipping to 18 for two. That had been up to 37 for two by the end of the six overs of power play and Ian Cobain knew he needed to up the ante that he did off Asha Saidi. Cameron Bancroft matched the shot in the same over, one which cost 18 runs and began to move the home team in the right direction. Gloucester stutted to 69 for three at the halfway stage, Bancroft bowled by Paul Walter after making 23 of the third wicket partnership of 49. Cobain then followed in the 12th on 32, mistiming a big hit that landed in the safe hands of Walter, Gloucestershire on 77 for 4 and needing to improve their scoring rate. Two runs later and in the same Jamie Porter over, Jack Taylor was dismissed for a single. Kieran Nima Barnett was out in controversial circumstance, Porter given the catch of his own bowling to finish with the superb figures of 4 for 20. It was left to Benny Howe to try to get the total up towards the end. He hit Simon Harmer for a much needed maximum. But Gloucestershire were seven down before three figures were brought up in over number 16. Mohamed Amir's Yorker trapping Howell in front. He had made 20. Gloucestershire were struggling to see out their overs for the second game in succession. Matt Taylor nicking off. Gloucestershire having to settle for a final score of 121 for eight. Matt Taylor tried to start the fight back by having Adam Wheater caught by Smith. But Varun Chopra looked in fine touch from the off, one of the few batsmen who was able to time the ball on a previously used slow pitch. He hit through the line to collect three sixes in successive overs as he raced to a score of 41 in the first four overs, those runs being made out of a team total of 43. It was just the start the visitors wanted in chasing down such a small target. Gloucester needed wickets and Howell supplied one with his very first ball. Dan Lawrence LBW on the sweep for 11. The Eagles, though, still getting to 58 for 2 in the power play. That became 58 for 3 at the start of the 7th over. Chris Little getting one past Chopra. The opener on his way for an enterprising 44. After his innings, the Eagles could take their time, and that they did in getting to 75 for 5. Rabbi Papara cutting Smith to Matt Taylor after making a sluggish 5. Quickly followed by Ryan Tenderscarter, who nicked off to the spinner, who was bringing his side right back into this contest. Ashar Zaidi knew that shots still needed to be played and decided that the 12th over was the one to target. But Smith then struck for a third time, a similar dismissal to the one of Nima Barna earlier. The batsman James Foster convinced that the ball hadn't carried, the bowler and more importantly the umpires disagreeing after a conference. Howell's four overs cost only eight runs, while Smith went off with three for 25 from three, replaced by Jack Taylor, who struck in his first over. Zaidi hitting to Cobain on the mid-wicket boundary, the Eagles on 96 for seven. The game was finally won for the visitors by Walter and Harmer, who made the most of the others in the home attack. The winning hit coming in the 17th over. Only two points now separate seven teams in the South group, so there is all to play for. Next up is a trip to Uxbridge, next Tuesday before returning to London for a clash with Surrey on the deciding night on Friday.